needed some type of medication. Okay, bathroom. <laughs> Yo, what is going on my people? We are back doing more Fears to Fathom. Now this one is the second chapter. I don't know what it the heck it's about, but we're about to go ahead and dive on in, guys. If you guys are excited for more games like these, feel free to go ahead, press that sub button, and hit that like button. I do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's do it. I'm pretty excited. This game definitely gives me puppet combo vibes, which makes it all the better. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2. Let's get it. Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. Okay. Interesting. This happened to me when I was 19. Okay. I'm a little over 21 now. Uh, I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out, uh, creeped out I felt. Okay. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But, but getting it out may help, even if it's just a little bit. I was one of those people who that loves gaming conventions. Okay, same here, same here. I go to every convention I get a chance to. Wish I was that lucky. And sometimes I even meet some, some of my friends online, okay? Or some of my online friends. Though my parents were always thrilled at the idea of me going on the interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Yeah, that's true. The convention I was at went great, okay? And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take a long way to avoid the traffic. Don't, don't do that. There was a little over 12 hour drive. Why the heck would you? Okay, see. Horror game protagonist moves. Alright. Oh, hey, we just driving a whip. Okay. Oh. Can I stop? I pull over. No texting and driving. Uh, <laughs> wait, Aiden Williams stuck at the biggest traffic jam in the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, that's facts. Uh, what about this one? Oh, this is from his dad. Let's talk when I get home. Drive home. Uh, drive safe, Holly. Oh, so I'm playing as a woman. Uh, don't forget to call me. You got a dad, Aiden Williams. Okay. Alright. So, Pop's worried about me. Alright. I hope this isn't copyright, though. Can I, can I turn that off? I'm sorry, that could have been copyright to high heck, and I don't want that to be copyright. Oh, and why the heck is my dad texting me right now? Wait, where did you reach... Still six hours away from the city, got stuck at the jam. Okay. Oh, I'm not getting out. You can get out here? Dude, you can get me. Nah, bruh. See, this is why I will stick with the main route. I'll never take scenic routes when I'm when I'm on the road. Just because, for one, my sense of direction isn't that great. Whoa, what is that? Realize you were low on gas? See, this is why you don't take scenic routes. To anybody who, who's driving now that's a part of the Legendary Army, if you're low on gas, don't take scenic routes where you're away from a gas station on long, long drives where you don't know where you are. Up oh, and Pops texts me again. Told you to take that flight. Of course, you had to text me while I'm on the road to do that. Come on, man. Dude, stop texting me while I'm driving, bruh. Oh, Holly is going to be late. Reach back. I hope you're feeling all right. Well, at least he's worried, but still. Like, dude. No texting and driving. I was on the other side of the road, man. Oh, we got a truck here. Oh, wait. It's a gas station. Let's get it. Okay, I'm pulling up. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, this place looks creepy as heck. Here. Can oh, okay. Uh yo, can I get some gas on the what's that 10? <laughs> Ma'am. 
Hi, can I get 10 on, on pump two? Okay. The mom texted me. Okay. You head into the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley, uh, the Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Uh, what do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Oh, man. Said so local St. Noah Valley Monster had torn had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees? What the? Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, let's just... Let's go to the bathroom. Can we go to the bathroom? It's not clean. Uh, whatever. It's, it is what it is. I just needed an excuse to leave. What about that guy who's walking around? You seem kind of suspect, right? Heard about the Nova Valley Monster? Huh? The Nova Valley Monster, you know, okay. Big mistake. Big mistake. What do you? Okay, that dude weirdo. Let's go. One more thing. Uh oh. If you see a woman in white or blue gown, white or a blue gown, trying to get a ride, do not stop. Step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that that. Wait. Some people said that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. I, I see. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up that hitchhiker. Okay, I got you, bruh. Those people are... Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. Yeah, I know that for sure. I'm black. Like, we don't do that. <laughs> Like no good will. If I see a hitchhiker who's like, yo, what up? I don't care. I'm I'm hitting the gas, bro. I don't care. No way in heck. I'm not doing that. They just ain't. Yeah, I got you. Oh I know. Even though we're a whore wait, what the heck were you? Were you at my car? Oh no. This bum was on at my car. Oh, dude, no, 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 no. Fill the tank off the road again. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so I gotta be careful of the crazy woman. So my mom asked to buy me something for my nose. Oh. Wait, wait. I said, I don't know if you'll find a shop in an hour, but can you go out for dog food? Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. That sounds like something my mom would text me, literally in real life. Huh. Okay. That'll be five dollars, man. Pay. Let's get it. I'm still suspicious of that other guy. The other guy weird as heck, man. Okay, we got dog food. And we, we on our way, man. Look at the pug. <laughs> Look at the little pug on the thing. <laughs> Yo. Oh, well, uh, I guess that didn't work. Okay, uh, hopefully that's it. Alright, let's get the heck up out of here. Driving this Oldsmobile, man. Uh, no way in heck I'll be out here. And this time of night, at a gas station. And plus, on top of that, I'll be on the road... You do realize a thing. Wait, realize what? Monsters truly do exist. Every single one of them looks like you and me. Wait, who is that? Oh, I thought that was a hitchhiker. I'm like, oh no. I'm hitting that gas, bruh. Come on, mom. Why are you texting me right now? I got your dog food. Calm down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up with my lights? Yo, my headlights. Don't tell me my battery dying. Okay, 
Still on the road. This is actually giving me chills, man. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What kind of car you got, dude? Or, or ma'am, or whatever. Yo, my headlights is going berserk. And this driver, dude, this driver in front of me, like, yo, this person is out to mug me. They just turned off their freaking tail or their headlights. This is an initial D, so we got a problem. I'm just following the pathway of the trees, so. Okay. God, that was, dude, that was so deadly. Okay. The car's gone, too, the guard. Oh, no, nah, man. I don't see no creepy lady yet. I'm afraid to even answer my text messages, too, because what if some bum just GTA the crap out of my car? Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me check what mom said. Not expired anything. She's checking to see if the dog food expired. We got more dire situations than this, all right? Come on, man. Okay, we're at the bridge. See, this is my thing, though. If you go into a gaming convention, make sure you have a, a party of maybe two, maybe three people with you. Or at the least one person with you. Your best friend, family member, somebody. You shouldn't be going to a gaming convention and carpooling alone. At least in my opinion. I, I think that's just kind of kind of off-putting, you know. This is a long drive. I swear, if I see a lady, it's a wrap. Oh, God. Dude, my car bad. My car sucks. And the lights flicker on and off midway through driving. You're, this car's a whole hazard on its own. What was that? Oh, that's a whole animal. Better hope you don't get hit. I'm not stopping for nothing. I'm sorry. I'm going home. There's a very weird thing. Wait. Wait, What? In the middle of the road. No, I'm moving them things. Come on, bruh. Heck yeah, we getting out of here. Nope. We ain't stopping for nobody. Come on, come on. Let's move these logs. Okay, it should be done. Oh, wow, I'm like, yo, I could have squeezed through that. You're joking. Come on, bruh, please. Oh, and my car smoking. My car overheated. Oh my god, man. Stranded. No phone service either. Say you're starting to believe whatever the bull crap <laughs> that he was spewing. I see that. Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Yeah, that's facts. But that moment, I had no choice. So I'm just gonna leave my car here. Oh. Well, okay. Then time skip. 10:23 p.m. All right. I'm about to say I thought I was gonna get jumped by an evil rabbit or something. <laughs> All right. Saw a car near him. Where the car at? Yo, hello. Yo, yo, hold up. Pure evil. I don't understand how somebody could have leave another human being stranded like that. I mean, honestly though, I, I said I would too. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Another time skip? 1043. Dang, we've been out here for almost a whole hour. I swear this feels like a puppet combo game, dude. Hello? Yo, yo, please help me. Hello? Yo, yo, you bum! 
Oh wait, did you stop? Yay, let's go. Please don't body me, please. You're the girl from the gas station. Oh, that's the weird dude. So what are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. So, da, da, da. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. I think you get a... Yeah, I definitely knew right. Where are you heading to? Just up the road at the nearest stop where I can call for help. Yeah, that sounds smart. Hop in. Thanks so much. All right, cool. Hurry up. Just throw it in the bag. Okay. We'll be here for too long. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, wait. I have to click on him again. Dot, dot, dot. It's not safe down here. Okay. So, do I have to just get my stuff literally out of my car and throw it in the back? Wow. That's crazy. We actually get to pick up our luggage and stuff, man. That's insane. Okay, got the dog food. Let's go. Yo, why I hear voices in this dude? Alright, done. Need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, I hop in. Let's go. Let's get it. Alright. That was so freaking stressful, man. Oh my god. I just kind of look like my dad's truck. Man. What? My name's Jason. Oh, okay. I looks like Jason. Okay. Should we tell him our name? Let's just say, it's nice to meet you, Jason. Let's just be polite, not divulge too much information because we don't know this guy. And honestly, this guy could be a freaking psychopath and kill me later. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the uh, this side of town tonight. I must say, you're one of brave young women. It's okay. Say, so you got any clue what happened to your car back there? Think it was a battery? It's an old car. That's it? I think so. I mean, pretty sure it had to have been a battery, but yeah, it started smoking, so that's not a battery, dude. So what do you think about what he told you back there at the gas station? Uh, it creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Okay. Very interesting. Like I said, I don't want to divulge too much information to this guy. I really don't. So is it true? What, the monster? See, I've never seen the monster myself, but... But they are. Wait, what? There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Wait, what? Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them. You don't be bothered. Wait, what? Okay. So, in a nutshell, mind your own business. Like, that's literally it. Mind your own business. I would never take a car like... Oh. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. That's fine. That, that's fine. But yeah, never take a car like that in long distance trips. If you know that car is old and a beater, don't do it. Alright, hopefully we're here. At a, at a spot where we can just get call for help. 12.08 a.m. Okay. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by my mo by a motel, okay? Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Cool. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There's all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. See, I don't know. This dude is still suspicious, man. Okay. So where do we go now? Oh, there's a... The man was putting out the creepiest vibes. Yeah, look at this dude. Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? Um, how much for a room? $40 for a single. Yep, let's just... Let's just go get some sleep. 
Room number nine, right over there. Okay. Talk about the car. Said Tommy will take care of the next thing in the morning. I'll pay that too. I must just got a crap ton of money after a convention. Normally you're broke after a convention. Say good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. All right, let's leave. Some creepy paintings, man. All right, room number nine it is. Like, just a thought, like, you just had fun at a con that you were excited to go to and travel. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting a whole lot of messages now. Okay. Can I lock this? I can't lock it. Okay. Okay, we got a closet. Wait, where's my stuff? Do I have to get my stuff? Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> that is going to be a minute. Can I not pick it up? Well, let me check on the... Oh, message don't del wasn't delivered. What do you mean, reroute? Let's see. Aiden. Aiden Williams? You got to do what you got to do. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Nice one there. Holly? Oh, they're worried about her. Okay, what's my next objective, though? Okay. I will never work out here in a place like this. Wait, crouch. Yo, you can peek out the window. That's crazy. Yo, this game is something else, man. Okay, what is this? I don't need it. Some type of medication? Okay, bathroom. Oh my god! Why are you in my room? What are you doing here? Scared the crap out of me. Heh heh heh. That's not funny. That's not freaking funny. I'm Tommy. Room service here at the Roadway Inn, the finest stop over in Norwood. I wouldn't think so. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Dude, if he's the maniac, I swear. Guy in front desk gave me gave me this room. <laughs> Bro, you couldn't be more suspect, man. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Freaky bum. You don't do that, bro. You don't do that. That's some. No, man. That scared the heck out of me. Bro. Bro, I don't trust you, dude. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go I go get your car, okay? And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get that get it fixed, but we haven't seen enough. I uh, haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hey, hey, hey. But you have a good night. Bro, this dude is the utmost suspect. How? I didn't even finish getting my stuff yet, you bum. Yeah, no, nah, he, he's definitely conjuring some red flags for sure. The guy in the front counter, I mean, he gives some weird, strange looks, but this dude, I don't trust him, man. I ain't supposed to get my car? Nah. Okay. Alright. I got all of my stuff. Yo. This is really creepy. I could just go to bed. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh! Who was that? Call of foresight, but oh no no, I'm getting up out of bed. I'm getting up out of bed, feeling that something wasn't right. Yeah, you think? Feeling tiredness is overcoming my by anxiety, bro. Do we go? Do we go outside? Man, bruh. Don't like try to come up here. I'll beat you upside the head with my skateboard. Don't you do this. Didn't want to sleep at all. Only coffee could help me stay up. So I gotta go to the vending machine? Okay. I'm not sure they have coffees in the vending machine unless you're in Japan, but we definitely this ain't Japan. <laughs> uh, is this it? Oh, they do, surprisingly. Okay. Uh, sure. These items help you stay awake. Why are we here breathing? What is happening? Oh! Oh, yo! My controls are inverted! Hold up! What kind of mutinous coffee you got drink? Yo, Dad's texting me. Hold up. Hold up, fam. I need to get up in here. Yo, coffee don't make you feel like you're high. No. Oh. I can't read anything. Yo. Hold up. I I'm gonna need me some water, dude. Dude, my controls are inverted as heck. Please tell me I don't have to play the game like that. The rest of the game like that. It's 3.18. I was sedated. I thought the phone didn't work. Nope, you got it, Chief. Nope. Yo, my vision is messed up. Yo, anybody out there, bruh? You playing games with me. I mean, I ain't with this. What's up with that noise? I heard, I heard a noise in here. Hold up. Oh, that's the guy. Who is it? Joe from the front desk opened the door. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? Uh, I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? What? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Yeah. It's a coffee machine, dude. Are you messing with me? It's your establishment, bro. We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay. I've had enough of your crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me, I hate my job. Lead Joe. Alright, I got you, bruh. And it's like on the edge of my screen is like red. So I'm just I'm still kind of messed up from that weird coffee. Why is there a trunk open here? The coffee machine! Oh, it's gone! 
Yo. Uh, Joe, you're gonna be mad, bro, but there's no coffee machine here no more. Somebody stole it. Go back to the room. I swear, yeah, it was right there. I said go back now. Alright, fine. Fine, you bum. Fine. There should be some medication in your room that would offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Oh, that's where I seen earlier in the beginning of the game. Uh, well, not the beginning, but earlier in the game. Yo, this is crazy. So you're telling me I drank some drugged up coffee? Is that it? And the trunk was open, so somebody had to have moved it. That's crazy. Requires water. Okay, so do I just go for the tub? I mean, I could easily get water from there. I kid you not, and it's just an instinct of mine. But when I was well, 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 I am still under the influence. Something got into my room, bro. I kid you not, and will make it even creepier. My closet is slightly open. I'm not stupid, bro. But I'm about to go ahead and get some of this. The door is wide open. Oh, I gotta shut the door first. Okay. I didn't know if that really mattered just to take some medicine, but okay. Alright. So now what? Okay. Took some medicine. Uh. Dude, this is like really freaking spooky, man. So now what? Do we go back to sleep? Oh, we do. Okay, okay. But this crazy person, no, I'm watching that. Watching that, watching this. Watching that, watching this. Yo, I'm getting goosebumps. No way in heck I'll be going to sleep tonight. Do I get up again? Oh! Oh, somebody took a whole picture! Oh, who is that? I don't know that guy. That's not somebody who I've met before. Is it? Please open the door. I need help. Ah, no, no. Nah. What do you want from me? What do you want from me, dude? I'm a kid. Or am I a kid? I don't know. I'm driving. Maybe I'm 19. I don't know. But still. <laughs> please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. Do nothing. I know you're in there. Dot, dot, dot. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. That'll make... Okay, no. Go away, dude. Pretty lady. Oh! Yo, 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 yo. Open that. Open that, please.
guys, I cheated. I cheated. I low key cheated. I turned off my microphone. Oh my god. <laughs> I cheated, guys. I'm sorry. I cheated. But as soon as I see my mic thing, oh, I turned it off. I'm not staying quiet because it can sense background noise and air. Nuh-uh. My mic's sensitive. I ain't trusting that. <laughs> to this day, I finally, uh, I find it really weird that the manager interfered got, uh, not to get the police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. But I believe... I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or drug ring, possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after it felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I've always take airplanes. Listen to your dad. Listen to your pops. Wow, that was good, man. And I will say this, this is literally two out of two games that I survived and did not get bodied in. Let's go! Round of applause, people! Let's freaking get it! But yo, low key, I was pretty freaking shook. And if I didn't think to turn off my microphone, I probably would have got yeeted. Because I wasn't talking, and the mic was doing this. So it was sensing background noise and stuff. Probably my arcade machine, even though it's really quiet. Let's go, man! See, you gotta use your brain meats, you gotta be smart. But guys, that was Fears to Fathom. I hope you guys did enjoy today's game. And this was a creepy VHS type horror game that I really do enjoy. I love these types of games. The PS1 aesthetic too. Definitely gives me like the, the uh, Northberry Grove or Puppet Combo type games. It's really enjoyable. And if you guys want to go ahead and support the creator and the developers, go ahead. Feel free to do so. Links will be in the description down below. But like I said, guys, if you're new, please hit that sub button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.